So today I'm going to do something bold, something bright, I'm feeling it and I've not done anything bold and bright for a while so I really want to try something new or something I sing. So I'm going to have a think and come back to you and yeah, make something up because I actually don't know what I'm going to do. But I've got the Carnival palette out by Stacey Marie, love this one, I don't have the second one yet but it looks unreal, I do use this though. It. And the Mitchell, me myself and Mi M Mitchell palette. Love it. One of my colours broke in it though. Look. Sad times. Can you see? Ah. But unreal. Anyway, if you don't have these palettes, you need them. So yeah, I'm gonna have a think what I wanna do. I'm gonna go back to you. I'm thinking purple because it's just standing out to me today. As you can see, I've used it a lot. And yellow, I don't know. I feel like they do go. I've seen a few looks with purple and yellow before. Let me see the next one. Right, look at them purples on the tree. Oh, Yellows. Manchester. You know. So I think. Yeah, I'm feeling something to do with that. Let's just roll with it, see what happens. And I'm not feeling cut creases recently, like, I don't know, I don't know why. Probably because I've not really done them. But I'm just not feeling them, and I'm feeling more like the blends and stuff like that. Like, if you follow Good George on Instagram and stuff, like, his work is just ugh, so good. Every time I see his stuff, I'm just like, amazing, amazing, unreal, amazing. He's probably like, Thank you, but can you show up now? Because honestly, I comment on everything that he posts. If you don't follow him, follow. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go with something like that. So let's prep the skin. Okay, so normally I go in with my brows first, but today I'm just gonna go straight in with the Eloise base and prep the eye. Cut these mirrors are on my bed, I need to clean them. Sorry, you think you can shut up, get on weird. Um normally I do my brows first as you notice. But I don't know, I kind of want to try and do a fluffy brow as best as I can and not put in too much on it. We'll see what happens anyway. So I'm just gonna prep the lid instead and still carve out the brow like you would. But I'm just gonna leave a little gap there because obviously I want to try and add some brow hair there because I don't have any. <laughs> okay so I've prepped just the one eye for now because I'm going to see how it goes. Sorry there's a lot of sunlight on that. I hope you can see this video okay. Shall I bring a little bit closer? Hello. We'll see how this goes. If not, I'll shut the blinds. I'm going to go in the Stacey Marie palette and I'm going to pick out Le Cure, it's called. And I'm just going to really deepen the sides of my eye. Sorry, it just got a bit too bright, didn't it? So. We'll just shut the blinds for now and carry on. Like I said before, I don't want to do a cut crease. Well, I'm going to try and see what it looks like. If it's bad on that eye, then I might change this eye up. Because it's only for a look, isn't it? I'm not going out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just want to see. I can try and blend it out. And get them skills. I'm just taking it just above my uh, cut crease as well, where you do a cut crease, sorry. So just above my crease because when I open my eyes, otherwise you will not see that colour. And I want to get that dark thing with quite high. Okay, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with another brush and I'm gonna go into the color waist. Wasted? Yeah, wasted. The bright though. In the Stace Marie palette oh, still. And I'm just gonna take this on top because I wanna try and make it a bit brighter purple. So I'm gonna blend this out with the dark burgundy. Not burgundy, what color would you say that? It is like a dark purple. Okay, so now I've just put that and blended them two together. I feel like they've all blended on the camera. I'm sure they are. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in with a new brush, because you know, I just love washing them. Uh, and I'm gonna get the Chant, which is the last purple in the palette of um, Sesame Marie. And it's just like a, a paler purple. Feel that a little bit of that just to dust at the top to blend it all out. Now I'm going to go in with the deepest. This time I've got a flat brush and I'm going to go in with I think Keen which is the brighter yellow in the Stacey Marie palette. I've just stayed with Stacey Marie really haven't I? So as Mitch. Maybe they're going to help them honestly. I've just too, too much and then I just don't know which to choose. I'm just going to tap it off just because I want to see how it looks. So I've not got obviously any, any more lays down like I've not cut the crease or anything so I'm not sure how it's going to look on top of this purple, but we'll just roll with it. I feel like the lid bit isn't as popping as the corner of my eye. I feel like I want to add more, it might, I don't know, it might ruin it, it might be too dusty or I want to colour it. I'm gonna get the purple one that's not got much on it that I used for the ending. I'm just gonna try and see what it might look a bit more blended. Do you think it looks nice open? It's when I close it like I don't feel like that looks right now. Mitchell Manchester colour that just went on and just like that. I think that looks a lot better.
kind of want to go in with like a glitter pigment or something. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to mix together two different glitters, and I've got the Nict is Glitter Brilliance uh, in number is it number six? That silvery one that's got like holographic on it, and I've got Barry M Glitter Rush snow globe, so more of a white but still got um, silver bits in it, so let's mix these two, I feel like I just need a little bit of glitter or something. Okay, so those two are in there, you doesn't matter, I really look that appealing right now. I'm going to mix them together, just look nice, I love glitter but just, I hate working with it. Oh, hello, back on me. Um, I hate working with it because I just feel like it too hard and it just goes everywhere and you make a right good old mess anyway I th feel like it just needs a little bit of glitter so I'm going to add a little bit of P. Louise to the oh no not P. Louise no 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 I'm going to add a glitter glue one I've got at the minute is from Primark Ops. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit in my hand and I might just use my fingers here can you see I've got no nails on ew Sorry to those that don't wear nails, but to me, I look bold. Honestly, I feel like somebody's just shaved my head off. That's how I feel. So, I'm getting them done next week, thank the Lord. Um, but yeah, just get some glitter glue on my hand, so I don't put too much on. I'm just going to dab where I want it. just feel like I need to put a little bit there. The only good thing about not having nails on is you're able to use your fingers to grab the because otherwise your nails just get everywhere, don't they? Let's see. Oh, I'm scared. This is just going to go wrong. Sorry, did I just cover the entire camera then? With my mirror. Oh, tell me something new. And I'm just going to dab my finger in the glitter. Obviously my finger's sticky anyway. Let me see where... Ah! Oh, how gorgeous. Please look good. I've ruined it. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so mad. I just thought it mattered. <laughs> How do I fix this? Help! Okay, so I've just gone and cut the crease because it's <laughs> the best thing I could try and do. So I've just cut it with the P. Louise base again. I'm so annoyed. I wanted something to work and it didn't. In my head, it looked amazing. Honestly, best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go with this and I'm wondering what to have as a colour or a glitter. I love my face, but uh, on that cut crease instead now. Obviously, I've still got a yellow going into purple and it's I just don't know what's gonna go. So I'm gonna have a look. Ah, oh, BRB. Okay, so I've decided no glitter and nothing. I'm gonna go with muffin in the Mitchell palette, which is like a. Uh... Oh god, what do you call it? Um. It looks white and silver, but it, when you move, it's pink. What do you call it? Help me. Um, so. 
So I'm just gonna get a man angled flat, flat, flat brush. Pray for me. This doesn't work. I quit. Looking cuter, thank you. <sighs> Lifesaver, honestly. So it's a bit of a pink to it, which you can't see, which is great. Um, and I'm gonna go in now with a black liner, and it is NYX uh, Vinyl Liquid Liner, and it's just in black, I'm guessing. It just says black here. So it's my favourite, it dries really fast and it's a good black liner. Might do this off camera because everything else has gone wrong, so. Okay, so I think it's kind of come together alright. <laughs> what do you think? Obviously, you can see the pink like in between here. So that's what it looks like on my whole eye. I'll insert a video at the end so you can see it properly. Um, I'm gonna go and do this other eye off camera because otherwise I'm gonna be here for 45 hours. So yeah, see ya in a bit. Back after 52 hours. Okay, so I'm gonna go in now. I've got lashes on, obviously they've just got glue on still at the minute. I'm just gonna let them dry. Lashes that I've got are Sean Maloney's lashes. These are in the set. They've been in my purse though, so they're a bit squished, so don't judge me. But I'm going to go in now with the Rimmel, it's Rimmel isn't it? Double Zero Blonde Black uh, Gel Liner <coughs> for my waterline and a small tiny brush. Whoa. I had to go off and come back on and do that because you couldn't see me and I nearly poked my eyeballs out. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to go in with a nice little wooden oh, highlight this corner. I've been using the Imogen, uh, Imogen Nation palette um, that I used last time that I use a lot and I highlight it in the face just in the corners of my eyes. It's really nice on top of that yellow as well because it's got like a gold up to it. You. you can see the pink more on this side by the way, can't you? Than that one. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna roll with it. I think it's just because we're lighting. Anyway, I'm gonna go in the on my face now. I'm gonna use I'm just gonna use um Number 2.D Golden Almond in L'Oreal True Match. I've already prepped my skin with the um, Elf Putty, Boilers Putty. It's really good by the way. I used this the other day for the first time and it's so nice. Like you just warm it up in your fingers and put it everywhere. And honestly, it did make my makeup and my face uh, foundation and that looked really good. So I was really happy with that. So I'm definitely gonna try that one out. Just gonna go in with the Real Techniques uh, foundation brush, a fluffy one. I'm just gonna dab that in my whole skin. Uh, 
And then I'm gonna go in with my damp sponge and really blend it all in. Look at that. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Concealer C6, love this, for full coverage under those eyes. If you've got bags, they've gone. Trust me. So nice. Really full coverage if you need it. And really good shades. There's a lot of shade range in Makeup Revolution, which is amazing. Sponge. Obviously, I'm going to um, contour with hot mocha, the clean contour, well, clean concealer from Sleek. Okay, so now I'm going to set my under eye with the Derma Blend translucent powder that I always use. Just need to make sure that you've got no creases. On your under eye. I like to use this under my eyes and also on any oily spots which is normally like my t-zone area and around my nose and that. Now I'm going to set my contour with the bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills, mahogany. I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and pull my contour and go it in and just warm the rest of the face up as well. Didn't really want to do a strong contour today because it's all on the eyes. Um, now I've done that, I'm going to go in with blusher already. Let's get a smaller brush. So this one's the MAC, and this is on this one that I always use in sun baths. It's got a shine to it as well. You can see it on the camera. And then I'm going to go in as well with Sleek, I love it, in Coral. now. So I've got a small and more dainty brush and I'm just going to go into that liqueur that I used right at the corners. I'm going to go under the eye from this side and just drag it in here. And so about the middle just to match that up and on the other side. And then I'm going to go in with um, Wasted which is the brown purple just from the middle to the front. Top to the bottom. 
now I'm going to do my brows. So I'm going to use a pencil like a crayon today and it's NYX and this is an espresso. I'm just going to try and draw a few because obviously like I said I didn't really want it like a full brow. I just wanted a fluffy one that was spiky and you know, all that. Let's fill it in. Okay, so I just filled my brows in and I fluffed them up with the soap brow. Um, and obviously I've just put some mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to do the lip now and I feel like I want a dark lip liner and just a literally clear gloss because I want it just to be about the eyes. So I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Liar Lip Liner and I'm going to just draw the draw with this. Now I'm gonna go in with the, oh, <laughs> with the um, lip gloss. I never said the clear lip gloss is just from uh, NYX NYX and it's just called Philip Instinct. Really nice and glossy. I'm going to go with Ebony Kale Nighter, of course. Woo! And that is the finished look. I might add some highlighter on actually. Should I go all out? Yes, I should. I'm going to go back in with Angel Face from the Imaging Palette Makeup Revolution. I'm just going to do a big buff it in instead of precisely, I just want it everywhere for this look. Downed in highlighter. Beautiful. Uh, highlighter that a little bit. Okay, so there we go, that's the finished look. Hope you liked it let me know what you think down below and i will post some images as well of this look a closer look on the eye thanks for watching bye hey hi no hello so 